Hey YouTube, it's Trinity Saray and I'm back with another video. As you guys seen by the title, this is going to be a lash tutorial. It really wasn't asked for, but I felt like I should do it because it's something that I enjoy doing and it's something that I just wanted to show you guys my techniques and how I do it. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys give a like, comment, and subscribe. Road to 500 subscribers. I'm currently at 429, I believe right now. And just stay tuned for the rest of the video. So I just want to share with you guys how I do my lashes. Don't mind if I look tired. Um, I just have bags under my eyes a little bit, but that's fine because once we put these lashes on, it will give me like more of a pop. But the lashes, I did show you guys what lashes I used in my last video, but this is the brand I've been using. Let me open them up for you guys brand of lashes that i've been using i'm gonna have them both linked in the description box but these are the ones i'm using for today they're the same brand they're just different sizes this one the pink one goes from nine to six oops the pink one goes from nine to 16 and the gold one goes from eight to 15 so they're around the same sizes but um one is just longer than the other and then the tools i use i use these tweezers and then i use these tweezers i think these are the best tweezers that i have that work good for my lashes these are good for picking up and these are good for just making sure they're placed on your lashes right and then you guys will see then i do have this tape that i use sometimes this tape is just to pull your eyelid up so it's you see how it's easier to see my lashes when my eyelids pulled up i do that in some areas where it's hard to get to and then i use this spoolie this is just to brush out my lashes i'm pretty sure you girls know what spoolies are you what spoolies are lots of girls get lash extensions or do their own lashes or just wear strips in general but for strips even for strips even you can use a spoolie and then the glue i use is this i envy by kiss and this is the mega hold individual lash glue so this is what it looks like it says strong adhesive long lasting mild scent and easy to use and it's really easy to use and it does have a scent that could be strong to your eyes or make you kind of like want to cry i guess it all depends because when i first started using it it did make me want to cry but as i started using it it's just gets better each time i use it and then lastly this fan um this fan is just so your lashes can dry so when you move on to the next lash the other one doesn't come up and this is actually very helpful instead of you like letting it air dry or whatever this is actually very helpful it comes with a charger and everything and right now i'm charging it because it needs to be charged and that's really everything i use and then i have a close-up mirror which is right here it's a little dirty but it's a close-up mirror so i can see my lashes even better so that's really it i've already been talking for four minutes and i want to kind of hurry up in this process well it actually doesn't take me that long to do my lashes if you guys have any questions make sure you guys leave a comment and i'll definitely respond to it so let's get right into this video so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to take some glue and pour it onto this little i put a piece of tape down so it doesn't get onto the actual plastic I also do have the rings that you pour the glue in, but I like using this method better. I only pour a little bit of glue because the glue dries so fast. So this is the glue that I just poured. And now I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use the tape yet. I am going to be starting with this tray. So this is what it looks like when you pick it up and you can honestly fan it out how you want to. You can fan it out. You can fan it any way you want. So this is how it looks when I fan it out. You can fan it out even bigger. I like it. So now I just dip the end into my glue. And since it's going, since it's going under my lashes, I I keep the glue on the front side. So the side that you guys are looking at, that's where I keep the glue. And I wipe off. I wipe off the back. So there should be no glue on the back. And then it might start to fumble a little, so you might have to just keep playing around with it. So like this. So now I have it, and now I'm gonna place it under my lashes. So you guys can watch that, or try to watch it. I'll work on this eye first. I usually do this eye first. But. So 
past the person and see how my eyes are already watering but like it's okay i'm trying to think if i want to go this long but i think i do so now let's move on to and by the way i'm using 14 millimeters for until i get to like the end of my pupil and then i'm gonna start like when i look straight the end of my pupil and then i'm gonna move into 12. I'm skip skipping 13. So let's just keep going. You see how they kind of like separate it? So you're gonna take off that part that's, you're gonna take off that one that's just isolated because it's not with the cluster. So just gonna pull it off, or pull it away. You can use your other tweezers. I just pull them away because it's easier to me. So right now I have three clusters on my eyes. This one is just, I tweak things at the end, but I have three clusters on. I'll probably need three more and then I'll start moving on to a different size. So as of right now, I'm gonna start blowing them. I'm gonna start drying them because I wanna start to brush them out. So I'm just taking this fan right here. This is the air conditioning fan. Um, I got this in a pack, so. Yeah, I'm not sure if the angle changed, but like I was saying, I got everything from Amazon except for these tweezers and this glue. These are both from the hair store. I purchase these all the time from the hair store, especially this glue. I used to get the little one, but this has lasted me so long, oh, probably almost a year. This has lasted me because I don't do my lashes every day or like every week. And then the two lash trays are from Amazon. They will both be linked. So let's get back into the video. Patience is key when it comes to your lashes because you don't want to slip up and do anything wrong and you just want to make sure your main focus is what you're doing, which is your lashes. So definitely take time with it. I'm not a person that has a lot of patience, but learning to do my lashes definitely has taught me patience because honestly, this is something that takes time and takes like a certain craft to do and all that and i've been just doing this since quarantine like just ordering stuff and wanting to do my own lashes instead of paying hundreds of dollars to do my lashes like no baby if i can do them myself i'm gonna do them myself best believe do them myself because honestly i understand people's hustle but like doing my own lashes definitely saving me money for sure because people pay ridiculous amounts of lashes like i want to know if they're going to actually pay their own prices like that's what you actually have to think of when you have your own business like are you going to pay these prices of these items are you going to pay this price sorry about the lighting are you going to pay this price um if you want to get your lashes done like you guys like businesses have to always think of that so honestly doing my own lashes have been fun I just finished my last 14 meters, millimeters, sorry, 
my 14 millimeter lashes, so I'm gonna go in with 12. I should, I don't know if I should do 13. I think I'm just gonna go in with 12. This is what the, this is what the 12 looks like. I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference, but this is it fanned out. And I'm gonna put the glue on. So remember the glue, well, if you go on top, then the glue can be on the back because you're placing them on your lashes. But since I'm going under, because I don't like to, see, I don't want to see the glue on top, so that's why I do them under. But if you were to do the, if you were to do the glue on back, that means you have to put your la the lashes on top. So I'm putting the glue, I'm putting the glue on top because I want my lashes to go under, so the glue can sit. You guys understand? So that's so why I'm pulling my eye up and placing the lash on my lash, but from under. So I definitely need to go in with the one right here, but that one has to be a 14. So that's what you have to honestly do. You have to critique yourself when you're doing your lashes. You have to be like, oh, I didn't put one here, so I have to put one here. This is kind of scarce, so I'm gonna put one here as well. That's what you kind of have to do. And some people like to go back and forth with their lashes, but I don't. I know my eye, so I know where I need to put lashes and where I don't need to put lashes. So that's that. So I think I'm done with my, I'm pretty done with my 12 meters. Now I'm going with my nine meters. It's a top row. Or should I do 10? I think I'm gonna do nine just because nine is nice and short and it feel like it will fit like right in the corner of my eye. So now, since you see how like, you're kind of go going all over the place. Liking that, but I'm gonna take my spoolie and I'm just gonna brush. And you wanna be soft with this part. You don't wanna pull them out like that. You want to kind of, I honestly do this with my spoolie and get anything that's out out of it. So there's nothing getting caught in your lashes and it kind of gives the spoolie more of a fluff. So you do that and then you just do the bottom, you brush the bottom up because you want to make sure all the lashes are sticking to yours. So you go like this with the thing and then you brush them outwards. But you want to brush them kind of in a rotation. Like you can you can kind of see like there's a bend in the spoolie. The spoolie goes up like this. So that's kind of how you want to brush it. That's kind of how you want them to be brushed out. One eye done. But if I feel like when I do this eye, they're kind of different, then that's when I go in and add, add lashes. So right now I feel like I'm done. I could always go in and add wherever I want to add. I just have to remember like I where I stopped and where I didn't stop. So like I know that I went in like four with the 14s. I went in two with the third. I mean the 12s, and then I went in three with the nines. So like, and I only went in nine in the corner, like I said, because the inner corner for me is very short. The inner corner is very short for me. So I want to make sure that it maps kind of my lashes i don't want it to be humongous in the front and then it just doesn't look right to me so that's me. i'm gonna do the next eye and so i'm gonna talk to you guys when i'm done with this lash it should be in like two seconds i'm done with this one so this is how both lashes came out i really love it and quick to do hope you guys can use this method remember to be patient and remember to put the lashes under on top is okay but if you don't want to see the glue make sure you guys put it under it's just like a strip lash you know when you put strips on top of your lashes you can see the glue when you look down this you cannot see the glue when you look down because it's under just some tips and tricks i will also put tips and tricks in the description box along with the products i use in this video uh, remember the lash trays are from amazon and so is the fan the fan is from amazon and so are the tweezers. One of the tweezers are from the hair store, which you can probably purchase from any hair store. And then the glue is from the hair store as well. I'll put all of that in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was nice and quick. Hope you guys can follow me for steps and tips and tricks, like I said. But if you guys do, make sure you guys let me know. Let me know if you guys want more sit down videos. I am getting into vlogs and stuff like that. So 
I didn't want to just branch off right away. I wanted to also incorporate some different ideas on my channel. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys share this video. Make sure you guys get me to 500 subscribers. It would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be soon. I say this in every video, but every time I have an idea and want to propose the idea, it never comes out well. So... I want to manifest that I am going to be constant on YouTube the whole month of June because I have a lot going on in June. So definitely I am going to be consistent. Tomorrow is June 1st. So hopefully this video goes around out around June 1st, June 2nd. You guys heard it here first. I am going to be more consistent on YouTube. So make sure you guys come back when I have a new video. And make sure you guys follow all of my social medias in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video.